Frank, what's happening? Kelly Joel announcing it will suspend all sales of most flavored products with the exception of mint, menthol, and tobacco flavors. The company releasing this statement saying, we continue to review our policies and practices in advance of the FDA's flavor guidance and have not made any final decisions. We are refraining from lobbying the administration on its draft flavor guidance and will fully support and comply with the final policy when effective. Jewel gets about 80 percent of its revenue from the sale of flavored products, according to estimates. According to the Department of Health and Human Services, about two-thirds of high school students, 65.9 percent, say the fruit flavors are their favorite. The company also telling our Angelica Levito from CNBC.com that under new CEO Casey Cross Crossweight, Jewel is conducting a review of the company's practices and policies. And as part of that process, again, the company decided to suspend all broadcast, print, and digital advertising. The company, again, will also stop its lobbying efforts with the administration, saying that the FDA's pre-market tobacco approval process is the best way to assess if vaping products can help smokers stop using traditional cigarettes. Juul and other e-cigarette makers have to submit that application by May of next year. Again, Juul says it will stop the sale of most flavors, with the exception of mint, menthol, and tobacco flavor. Frank, th this seems like a huge deal. I mean, we're showing Altria shares that they obviously have a big stake right. in Juul, and they're not moving much. They are hanging on to a 1% gain here. We spoke yesterday about how a judge in, in a state in this country uh, pushed back against the, the ban on flavored vapes by saying it could really hurt the entire vaping industry. If Juul is now saying it's not even going to sell these products, does that push people into the black market or other uh, offerings? Or do you think this represents sort of a, a lack of availability going forward of these products in general. Well, you know what, Kelly? Joel is the most popular brand in the market. So it's really a big question mark right now. This news just crossing. But I have spoken to a number of vape shop owners. They say about 90 percent of their revenues come from the sale of flavored tobacco products. Right. So, of course, there is a risk that people will seek some other way to get what they want. I mean, consumers will always get what they want. We've seen that when cannabis mm -hmm. is legalized now. But before it was legalized, obviously, people found other ways to get it.